Now, we all know inflation hurts everybody. It makes it hard to buy housing, cars, milk, diapers, food, gasoline, everything. It's a major hit, especially for the poor. So I, we all can understand. I think everybody can say, yeah, inflation, bad. All right, this is Federal Reserve. This is all these printing money and fiat currency. It's a whole nother show. Right now, I want to go back to abortion. That was the number two issue. These Democrats, these pro-abortion people were ticked off that Roe v. Wade was overturned, and so they came out. And also the young people came out and voted Democrat because they want to have the baby killing back as a right. Sadly, this comes also not just with the youth, but also with women voters. The Democrats have successfully branded for their own the female vote, locked up at 53%. And then also the young vote with the demographic, demographic at 18 to 24 at 61%, and then 25 to 29, 65% locked it up. And that raises the question, is the future degenerate? And how do we help these young people? Broken families, broken hearts, broken minds, uh, dependents on drugs and alcohol, didn't have a dad to take him into the garage and work on projects, carve wood, sand wood, load bullets, weld, talk, hike, pitch tents, play sports, throw the football, baseball. No dad sitting down in the living room when the teenage girl comes out of her bedroom in her dress and he says, you look beautiful with a hug and a kiss on the cheek. All that a generation, for the most part, didn't get that. These young men, they don't know how to walk up to a girl and approach her and ask her on a date because they sit in front of monitors every day and masturbate looking at screens. Their whole understanding of what is a woman is totally warped. Can't even talk to them. Their masculinity is perverted and inverted. And then they smoke weed and then they drink and they get blacked out. And then the girls, no dad affirming them, no mother modeling true feminacy, modesty, how to interact properly with a husband. These young girls don't see it. And of course, the bad boys come around and they have sex and then they get pregnant and then they want to have an abortion. And you do that over and your first abortion, second abortion, third abortion, fourth abortion. And then you see on TV, mean white Christian men want to take this away from you. And they become very much pro-abortion, pro-choice. What else? Blue cities, crime. I had a friend, uh, my wife Joy and I, we went to Jazz Fest in uh, New Orleans a few years back. This was pre-COVID. We had a great time. We loved New Orleans. It was fun. My buddy just got back from New Orleans, and he said there are people strung out on the street by Bourbon Street, which is always not a great place to be, but he said it's so much worse now. While they were walking to a nice restaurant, one of his buddies got bumped up, and when he and the guy ran off, and when he checked, he had stolen his his uh, phone wallet. And then five people were murdered in New Orleans while they were there. And he said the service was bad, and the hotel. And he just he said New Orleans has sunk; it's gone down. He's like, I probably won't go back to New Orleans. Said, That's a bummer. New Orleans can be a great place. There's a great Latin Mass in New Orleans, St. Patrick's. Maybe he's wrong about that. Maybe you live in New Orleans and that's wrong. But you look at Chicago, you look at San Francisco, you look at L.A., you look at New York. You look at these places where the mayor has become, Austin has become more like this. 
where it gets more woke. And what do you have? Homelessness, needles, people defecating on the street, drugs. Is this America? Is this America? You kind of have to wonder.